me, some of the best things that I've learned over the years is talking about the difference between internal focus and external focus. Uh, from an internal focus, when we're talking to hitters and we're talking to coaches, we say things like, I want internal rotation of the hips. I want internal rotation of the shoulder. Uh, or I want shoulder slope or posture. I want scap loading. These are all terms I think we use online. We, we use it in coaching circles. But to a player, those things are not really helpful. So I've got to translate those into an external focus, something that's outside of their body, not thinking about. So I want to make sure that when I'm speaking and working with drills that I have an external focus. So for example, if I'm working with a hitter and I want them to internally rotate their hips towards the catcher in their load, I'm not going to tell them I want you to internally load, rotate your hips to the catcher. Okay, but to me that's not helpful to them. But I might say something like, hey, show your back pocket to the pitcher. I might say, turn your belly button to the catcher. Okay, something that actually makes sense to them. The same thing with, um, you know, using your shoulders. I, we come across a lot of hitters that their shoulders do this when they load and stride and they do all kinds of things, but I want their shoulders to have some depth. So I might say, I might put the bat in their shoulders and say, hey, I want you to rock the baby. And they get some shoulder depth this way. Okay, and so just remembering how to find your own terms based on the level of person that you're working with. And I can tell you that for me, the term seesaw, when it comes to internal and external rotation of their shoulders, to me, seesaw is a term that has worked for my 26-year-old major leaguers and my six-year-old sons.